All right, guys, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Game number two coming right at you right now between LGIM Seed. He is going to be our blue Protoss player on the map Antigua Shipyard. His opponent going to be spawning in the left side, of course, Antigua Shipyard now. Just spawning is you don't spawn close positions anymore on this map. That's uh, Blizzard has listened to us to the people that play the game, and they have uh, given the opportunity for players to play macro games, to not have to worry about any kind of uh, close positions for any kind of cheese. Marine King doesn't care though. Um, he's known to be very gimmicky. Uh, well, I, I personally don't think he's gimmicky. A lot of people think he just, he's a very all inish player, he's very cheesy, but that's kind of what makes this game beautiful in the way it is, right? There's people that like to be aggressive, there's people that like to play passive, and uh, there's people that like to, um, Kind of mix it up. They can be very macro-oriented. Sometimes they can be very micro-oriented. But let's introduce this guy. So, a pink Terran. It is going to be Marine King Prime. PBT Antigua Shipyard. Let's talk a little bit about the map. So, Antigua Shipyard has been in the map pool for a, an extremely long time. Um, some players like playing on this. Uh, I would say Terran players would love to play on this just because you have a lot of areas where you can drop into your opponent's main bases. Um, for example, I mean, if you... If your opponent takes a relatively quick third, or he expands with his, this is basically going to be your third expansion. You can really abuse the map with early medevac timings, uh, similar to, I, I guess, a little bit connecting to Wings of Liberty. You would see a lot of early blink opening just so they're able to control the map to be able to spot these early medevacs. But this is heart of the swarm. These games are um, people are still experimenting with builds, figuring out different timings. Of course, I mentioned a little bit before the game started the patch hit literally what maybe 30 minutes ago um so yeah uh sorry someone someone's like chatting to me right now um the patch hit like 30 minutes ago and the change the major change actually the only change that was made was for terran so terrans basically um were going very aggressive widow mines uh or widow mines and hellbats you can load up four hellbats into a medevac and do a lot of damage to your opponent's economy that has been changed. Now it is limited up to two Hellbats. Is that going to change the actual matchup? Um, I mean, are, are Terran players going to start to shy away from it? We'll have to see because so far, build order wise, we are seeing a gas opening coming out from Marine King. Barracks is on its way. We're going to see the reactor factory on its way as well. So this looks very much like an early tech coming out from Marine King. It can be Widow Mines or it can be Hellbats. Back in the base of Seed, our former Code S champion he's going for again very very standard going with the barracks going with the double gas okay so we might be expecting a lot of tech coming out from seed but we might just be seeing a mothership core relatively quickly that's again become something very very popular but look at what seed is doing this is actually such an aggressive build coming out from our korean protoss uh, let's talk a little bit about this build so a stargate void rays Phoenix? You would you would assume Phoenix or, or Voidrays. It's it's actually Voidrays. This is a very, very powerful build. Um, you you basically go off something like three gateways. You usually go when you have two Voidrays. You have a bunch of sentries, you have a bunch of zealots and a few stalkers, and you can just hack away at your opponent's natural and run straight into their main base. So a very, very good build order choice coming here from Seed. And now we're gonna see the Hellions make their way towards the center of the map for Marine King. We're gonna see those uh, that medevac in the production tab. Now he Ooh, this is just so... It's like it's like Seed is cheesing and, and Marine King is is wanting to be aggressive as well. He's going to go ahead and spot the probe. Probe's going to die. Nice little um, map control there coming out from Marine King. We're going to see the Stargate's going to finish. What defense does Seed have back home? He has a Stalker and a Sentry. So it, it's going to be very, very important for him to be able to spot these Hellions, not force them up the ramp. He might be in a pretty good decision, or in a pretty good position. Maybe just force field the ramp and uh, he should be pretty, pretty damn safe. The Voidra is going to pop out right now for Seed, back home right now in Marine King Prime's base. He's not expanded. He's not adding any additional barracks. There is that armory in the production tab for Marine King. So this is going to be Hellbat drops. Uh, and I don't blame him. I mean, we'll see how much damage it can do. Armory's not finished yet, but Marine King does not care. He's just going to go straight into the main base of Seed. Four Hellions are going to drop, and what defense does Seed have? He has one Stalker. Hellions are going to start to go to work on these probes. Workers lost kill so far. We have up to three. Really good place force field here by uh, LGIMC to go ahead and defend this. Hellions are going to die. Not so much damage actually being done there by Marine King. Uh, really good 
I mean, I, I think Seed kind of knew it was coming. If I look at his vision very, very quickly. So Seed scouted gas. He can assume, just with the metagame in Heart of the Swarm, that it's probably going to be Widow Mines or Hellbat. So really good there by Seed. Two Void Rays in the main base right now. What does Marine King have? All he has right now is, what, seven Marines? Is that going to be enough? He's going to try to focus down one Void Ray, killing the Medivac. Really good control here by Seed. Going to pull out, uh, pull away this Void Ray, so he's not going to lose it. Hellions are going to try to join it. Not really going to do anything, though. Really good control by both players, but now Seed, 37 supply to 46. Neither player has decided to expand. This is actually a very all-in build once again coming out from Seed. He's going to force, um, he's going to force Marine King to lift up that starport, so... No kind of Vikings or any kind of uh, air to really be able to do anything against these Voidrays. So the problem here, Marine King has no bunker. He has some Marines. He has one barracks uh, with this reactor. Going to start to produce a lot more Marines. But it's it's so problematic right now. He has no bunker. These Voidrays are doing a lot of damage to these Marines. And the problem is these Stalkers make this attack so much more powerful. He can even just throw down a force field. He has a sentry. He can just force field these Marines. He is going to supply block. Marine King, 57 out of 43. So focusing down supply depots. Does Marine King have stim? No, he does not. So, I mean, he's not even nowhere. He's nowhere near getting stim. He's going to send the SCVs. He's going to focus down these void rays. Seed is going to lose one. Needs to micro that one back. Really good control, uh, actually, by both players. But it looks like Seed uh, is going to have too much. Really, really uh, well executed build here from Seed. Losing a void ray. Almost losing a second void ray. There's the Viking coming out. So he's going to be able to land that starport. If he can eliminate this Void Ray, this is going to be so much better in the favor of Marine King. But both players are battling so hard. Uh, Seed can't expand behind this. And, I mean, Marine King has to defend this. And he's doing a pretty good job. But I feel like Seed is going to have too much. He's going to micro these Stalkers against non stim Marines. Hellbats are going to be able to do a little bit of damage. But it's, it's very, very close here for both players. He's going to have to focus down this Void Ray. It looks like Seed is going to have so many units. The Medivac is going to come out. It's going to help tremendously to go ahead and repair these Marines. But Seed has how many Stalkers? 11 Stalkers. He's even going to lose the Void Ray. I feel like, regardless, this is going to be lights out for Marine King. Getting two additional Hellbats. 37 supply to 23. GG is called. So Seed is...